Hi everyone, my name is Peter Bakulski. Today we will continue building financial model. Um, this is a rent calculator for your business idea. So using this model you can um, you can calculate how rent payments affect your uh, your business idea, your profitability, payback period, simple discount and uh, internal rate of return. Um, so here you can specify uh the rent parameters when you start operating activities what is the price uh, of rent per square foot what is the uh, square footage of your location uh, in meters in square meters or in square foot square feet so uh, is there any grace period for uh, rent payments what is the amount of deposit so you can also specify the investment stage um, what you invest in when you invest in what is the duration of uh, the investment stage then you can specify different types of customers but you can switch them on and off you can specify the average check for each type of customer you can specify the percentage of direct expenses inside the average check then you can specify uh, the life cycle of, uh, of the uh, this or that type of customer after which the customer disappears and ends up with, with giving you the revenues. Uh, then you specify uh, how many new customers you get each month uh, during the first 36 months of operating activity. Then, uh, then you specify how many checks per month gives you each uh, type of customer so customer number one gives you two checks per month during his life cycle which is four month customer number two for example gives you three purchase per month uh, or you can specify any other algorithm during this uh, during this eight mo eight month period so you can uh, specify that for example he first gives you one then four six nine then five three two one so you can specify any algorithm any customer behavior inside this life cycle so uh here we specify how many checks uh monthly gives us each type of customer uh and then it's time for us finally to calculate the revenues so i will be first of all i will copy this table so revenues revenues So what I need to calculate to cook the revenues. So first of all, let me clean the formulas here. So I need the amount of checks from this type of customer. Here they are then i also need the transposed amount of customers which who at this or that moment join our project they are located here and i also need and i also need the average check so average check leaves here and now i will go back to to my table for revenues press equals and then i will the first component for this formula i will take 
I will take from this table this is the amount of checks just a moment so this is the amount of checks then I'm multiplying on the amount of customers the amount of customers from here here we freeze the column and then we finally multiply on the amount of every check that goes from our inputs so every check for customer number one we place it here freezing completely this cell Then we press enter and then we are extrapolating this formula to the bottom and to the right So these are the revenues for the customer type number one. So here they are. So these are the revenues for the first 10 customers coming to us in September 2022. Then uh, what I will do, I will just copy this formula from here. Go here to the customer type number two. Paste it here. And then just go up and relocate the average check Then we are doing the same with customer type number 3, 4 and 5. Then we move to the customer type number 4, copying this formula.
and then finally we go to the customer type number five So now let's check the formulas uh, for the uh, customer type number 5 for example. So um, we need the amount of checks, we need transposed customers. Now let's go back to, to the revenues. Let's click on the formula. So here we have the amount of amount of checks. They are multiplied on the amount of customers being transposed here and then they are multiplied on the average check which comes from here. So now we can consolidate the revenues. So we can copy the timeline. Revenues. Revenue consolidation. So this will be here we will place uh, the types of customers then one two three four five and now let's take totals so Customer type number five. Five. Four. three two two and finally one
So now we finally got the revenues. So now we finally got the revenues, we can now move further to the direct expenses. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, you can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas, we can help you with that. So see you guys in next videos, thank you and bye.